In this video, I'm going to look at the weak acid question from the 2017 paper one. So the first part of the question is this calculation. So if you want to process the information, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answer. So the first place we'll start is the formula for the H plus concentration for a weak acid. That's the square root of Ka multiplied by the concentration of the acid. So ethanoic acid in this case. So what we need to find out is this concentration here. So we need to rearrange this equation into that. So it's the concentration of the H plus ion squared all over the Ka. So we've been given the pH 2.440, so we need to turn that into an H plus concentration. So that's 10 to the minus 2.440. So if we sub the answer to that in the expression we've just got, we get that there. So the concentration of the ethanoic acid is coming out at this calculated value here, which obviously to three significant figures is going to be that, 0.753 moles per decimeter cubed. The question then went on to this, so it was an acid-base pairs question. So we're given some extra information about another weak acid, fluoroethanoic acid. It's got a Ka value of 2.19 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per decimeter cubed. We've got to establish the species on the other side of the equilibrium and identify the two acid-base pairs. So again, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So the first thing we need to do is get those Ka values in. That's going to tell us which of those two weak acids is the stronger of the two and therefore going to donate its proton. So the largest Ka value is this one here. So this fluoroethanoic acid is going to donate this H plus ion to the ethanoic acid. And so it's going to become that. And so the ethanoic acid is going to become that. In terms of acid-base pairs, so we've already said that the fluoroethanoic acid is the stronger of the two weak acid. So that's going to be the acid on the left-hand side, so we'll call that A1. So its conjugate base is obviously going to be that species there. And just remember, these two things are related by the H plus ion. So when that donates its H plus ion, it becomes that. When that accepts an H plus ion, in other words, acts as a base, it becomes that. And then the rule for these acid-base pairs, you can't have two acids on the same side. So this is obviously a base, and it's got to be therefore base 2. And its conjugate acid is obviously that, so that's A2. 